Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk to you real quickly about multimedia concepts for this week. Um, last week I showed you some tutorials from the book on After Effects and then I asked you to find a tutorial and um, do the tutorial and then create a short screencast-o-matic um, explaining to me and your classmates what you found and where you found it and how it worked and how cool it was. And what I really want you to do is go back to that Excel document and watch each other's videos. You might see some really cool ideas that you want to use either in your own commercial or in <clears throat> your final project or just you want to know about in general. So please watch those and um, give your classmates some kudos via email or text or FaceTime or Snapchat or whatever it is y'all young folk do. Just kidding. Um, but seriously, if you see something cool, you know, reach out to your classmates and tell them they did a good job. Um, so for this week, um, the next chapter in our book is actually a bonus chapter. So it's a PDF on your book files and therefore you can follow along with it and refer back to it. And I actually talk about it in this first video of getting started. Um, one thing I want to mention is when I came to this, I was fully ready to create all these videos. And apparently, this is the time last year when I was sick as a dog and not able to be in class. And <clears throat> little by little, I recorded these over the course of time um, when I had a voice. You can tell my voice is kind of funky in them. But at any rate, when you do click on them, you're going to see that they're 2019. Um, it's exact same files, everything is the same. If there has been an update to the software, if it doesn't behave the same way, um, I apologize that I didn't spend four hours going through this again. Um, but that is the reality of real life. Um, next year, when you go to make an After Effects project and we're on the version 2021, you might encounter changes then and you're gonna have to figure out um, how to work around it. So if something doesn't work in the new version of After Effects, just do a Google search um, and ask why it doesn't work anymore, and I'm sure you'll find the answer, and then let me know. Um, based on how things have gone throughout all the other chapters, I do not expect any press at all. Um, all these videos are fairly short. They only cover a few pages and just like one topic. And they're clean, they weren't done in class, they don't have ums and ahs and all that jazz. So I was pleasantly thrilled when I opened this learning plan and saw these videos here. So after you work through these videos, um, you need to add an After Effects composition to your own personal commercial. So your learning assessment um, is going to be to do that. Um, it can be something we learned in the book or something from a tutorial that you have found um, in the last week or two. So once you complete this After Effects and put it back into your Premiere file and it works, I want you to do a screencast-o-matic video showing me the special effect as it plays out in your commercial or your movie that you're working on, your group movie. Um, you do not need to record the whole movie. Whatever your special effect is, um, I think Logan and Leah's team, I suspect somebody's going to fly off with their rocket backpack. So I assume that's a special effect that you're going to be applying to that area. So all you really need to do is record a few seconds prior to the effect to kind of set up the scene and a few seconds after. So it's not like you're recording the whole thing again. Um, I'm also giving you extra time on this assignment. Instead of having it be due in one week, I'm giving you almost two weeks to work on it. Um, so instead of being due Monday at midnight, um, Monday being the 13th, I'm giving you a full other week until Sunday night, the 19th at midnight. Um, these are a lot to go through, these videos. Um, not that they're terribly long, but After Effects is a, a special animal. So I want you to have enough time to do a good job on it. Don't put it off because next week we are moving on with a new chapter. We're going to be chapter 7, which is on audio. So I'm just giving you extra time on this After Effects composition. But we are moving on next week and you may have some homework or proof due with the audio part too. So 
Once you get that done, this is where you're going to be uploading it. Um, it's going to be a screencast-o-matic. By the way, don't upload the MP4. I want you to, from within Screencast, I want you to either upload it to their storage site or to YouTube, and then it's going to supply you with a URL. That's what I want in Blackboard. Um, I just want to be able to go into Blackboard and click on URLs and go straight to sites where I can watch these. So that's that. Then the other thing that I wanted to mention um, in here is your final project. And you're just probably kind of wondering what it is and when it's going to hit. So I included information, and this is when I would always start talking about it, what you're going to need to do for that final project. So I'm just going to go over this real quickly for you. You are going to submit, and by the way, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Each one of you are doing your own thing completely. So you're going to submit a basic script. And remember, that was the audio column and the video column, where you kind of explain in general what we're going to see when the movie opens and what we're going to hear. And then it says, you know, cut to a close-up of this and hear scary music. So it's not script as in dialogue. It is the audio and video overview. Um, that ultimately at the end will be submitted as a Word or a PDF. Um, then normally what I would do is I'd come around in class and I'd sit next to you on your computer and you would show me proof of all these things. We're going to have to think of a way to set up appointments online to do this where you share your screen with me and show me this because you obviously can't send all of these assets to me. So in Premiere Pro, all of your clips should be organized, um, named well, and put in bins appropriately. So similar to what we have in our pool side, how that's organized. We really only see four bins, like audio, um, graphics, oh, I can't even remember, comps, whatever. That's what I expect to see. I don't want to see a bunch of things loose. Your final project should be 30 seconds, 1 minute, 1.30, or 2. You need to edit down to one of these four criteria. It can't be 205. It can't be 37 seconds. The reason for that is you have to think about if you are putting an ad on TV or anywhere else on radio. This is not radio. This is visual. But you buy in half-minute increments. So you have to edit to fit that. You have to have at least two video tracks. So similar in the poolside example to having the interview main roll and then that b-roll on top of it so you have to have two video tracks where things cut out and go up and down and two audio tracks um, the one would be the audio from your initial roll whatever's going on in that you know the talking and then maybe some background music and or sound clips uh, any trimmed video clip should be trimmed in a non-destructive way with in and out points so if i asked you to double click on a clip um, in your timeline and bring it into the source window, I could see that you have an in and an out point set and that if we needed to, there's still time ahead of the clip or behind the clip, so it's non-destructive. Your audio background music should be trimmed to match the final duration or when you need it to end, so the song can't keep playing after the video is done. Um, by the way, audio and some other things here we haven't even covered yet so you will be learning about that in the next few weeks. You have to use at least one marker in a sequence or a clip so when I'm looking at your Premiere Pro document, um, I'll just open this one, it'll take a while I'm sure, I should see one of those um, green, um, sorry, now I'm all over the place, I should see one of those green markers. So at least one marker. You need to use at least two transitions in Premiere between your video clips, so a dissolve, fade in, fade to black, something like that. You need to create and use a static title um, using the Adobe Pro title tool. So in our poolside example, we did something where we put name and title, and we just use it as a placeholder, and our lower thirds graphic eventually went there. But you could very easily do something using text just within Premiere that says um, your phone number or call now or something like that that you don't want to animate. So something simple and static, not moving. 
you need to create a lower thirds graphic and use it somewhere within your file. So some sort of an illustrator graphic that you bring in and um, if you choose to animate it, that's up to you, but this lower third graphic does have to be in use. Then you need to create and add at least one After Effects composition to your finished project. So you could animate your text in After Effects. You could do masking, um, any of these tutorials that you've learned about. So chapter six is what we're going to be talking about this week. You're going to learn more After Effects, but you need to have at least one in your final movie. Um, your soundtrack, you're going to edit it so that the spoken words can be heard over background music. And we're going to learn that in the coming week. Um, and we're going to use audio clip editing in Premiere Pro to do that. So kind of forget the fact that when we started with that first book in this class, there was some sound gain that we applied as a transition. Just ignore that completely. We're going to do a whole chapter on audio. And we're going to use um, Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition to do a better job of that. Then I'm going to have you remove any unwanted background noise, pops, ums, or ahs. And you're going to use Adobe Audition, which we will be covering in the next couple of weeks. Um, this will make sense after we do that. Do not create a final audio mix as we did in Chapter 7. Um, again, that will make sense after we do Chapter 7. Apply color corrections as needed for continuity or for artistic effect. So you're going to have to apply them. Maybe some of the coloring doesn't match from one scene to the other. One is cooler than the other, or one is too warm and you want to make them all look like they go together. Or maybe you want to do some sepia or black and white for artistic effects. But in some way, shape, or form, you have to apply some color corrections. This is also coming up in Chapter 8. And then the final project should be rendered and exported, um, and that's Chapter 9. We're getting to that yet also. There's four different versions that you need to export. And then ultimately, this tablet version, um, or the, well, I'm not sure which one. It's the tablet version is what I'm saying here. Um, this version of your movie is the one that you're going to upload to a shared OneDrive where we all can watch them and comment on them, and I will provide that later. I just kind of wanted to give you this in general to be thinking about this. And this is some of the things that I'm looking for in your group commercial as well, just not quite as seriously, if that makes sense. Um, in other words, I'm not, I told you it can be any time length. Your, this commercial you're working on right now can be any time. Um, and some other things. I'll give you more on that later. Your group commercial is going to be due one week prior to your final project, so you're going to have plenty of time to work on both of them. Uh, all right, so that is what your final project. So some ideas to do this on since we're all in quarantine and it's kind of a strange time in our life and history. Um, you can do anything you want. You can have fun with it. Um, you can be silly. But maybe take this time to kind of do a like a documentary or a interview with family members about what it's really like. And, you know, maybe in 20 years you watch it back and it's kind of neat to see. So, you know, I don't know if you can get outside at all, but how does your street look in your town? Or is it really quiet and eerie? Or do the birds seem like they're louder right now? And what are you all doing at home? Are you playing games? Or are you all in separate rooms on computers and it's horrible? Or <laughs> whatever's going on, kind of doing something with that theme might be fun and interesting and really fun to look back on in a few years. So it's up to you. It can be anything you want, as long as it fits into these timelines and it's an individual project. You're not working in your team on this final project. You obviously may solicit people to be your actors um, or to do the filming of you because I'm not judging it on your filmmaking. I'm judge well, I'm not judging it on who or how you get recorded, video recorded. I am looking at how you put a movie together in Adobe Premiere and After Effects. So I hope this helps kind of understand where we're going. I did update the learning plan uh, the syllabus a little bit with our current timeline. And I just wanted to point that out. So this week, um, April 7th, Tuesday, we're going to cover Chapter 6. 
which is on advanced motion graphics. And as of last night at midnight, your After Effects tutorial demo was due. If you're late on that, get it in right away. Um, next week, we're going to be working with audio. And the week after that, um, we're actually going to cover the last two chapters, finishing up your project and then outputting it for the web. So after April 21st, you're going to have all the tools that you need to know how to finalize both of these projects. So you'll have work time on your group commercial and final project. And your group commercial is going to be due May 5th. And um, classes were kind of extended one week because of all this mess. So May 12th is the day that your final movie is due. Of course, if you're done earlier and you want to turn it in, super, but you have until May 12th. So if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. And um, I hope you are all doing very well. Um, we do have a drop-in for this class Thursday at 11. If you have any questions or concerns or want to pop in to that, um, to that Blackboard Collaborate Hangout room, um, this right here, the online session. So I'm in the learning plans. And I think it's also in your announcements. So Thursdays at 11. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.